Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. It's early morning in Slater, Iowa, and a group of longtime friends has gathered at Don Rimothy's place for pancakes and sausage. I have a kitchen in my shop, which I enjoy very much. It's uh, fun to have some friends over once in a while and make them breakfast, and uh, so that's what I did this morning. There's definitely a lot of tractor talk, but sometimes uh, other things too, you know, uh, people, uh, what's going on in the community and this and that. We stay out of politics and religion and uh, everybody goes home happy. That's our goal here. The topic of conversation this morning is Don's 1971 International 766, a tractor that's been in his family for decades. It was bought new by his mom's first cousin, Don Lee, who used it to pull an IH-234 corn picker for many seasons. Years later, the Lee family agreed to sell the retired 766 to the Rimothy side of the family. It hadn't run for quite a number of years. I've, I'm not exactly sure how long. I think possibly eight years or so it hadn't run. and the, A lot of pigeon droppings on it. and But it had been in a shed. So I, uh, I brought it home and uh, got it running without too much trouble and uh, I used it for a while with uh, the original paint and I decided I wanted it to look nicer so I had it restored a few years ago, about three years ago I guess. One thing that catches my eye about this tractor is the tricycle front end. Uh, by 1971 there were a very small number of uh, tractors sold with tricycle front ends I think. When I bought the tractor, they had converted it to a, an aftermarket wide front, and I converted it back to tricycle. I wanted it the way it was when it was new. But uh, the uh, tricycle front end was uh, one thing I thought was a little bit unique. You don't see tons of them in tractors that, of that vintage. The 766 is powered by the 291 cubic inch six cylinder C291 one of the most popular engines that International made at the time. But what really makes this particular tractor stand out is that it runs on gas instead of diesel. Well, it's a little bit unique. Uh, in 1971, uh, gas tractors were starting to fade out. Diesels were much more efficient and the engines lasted probably two to three Sometimes longer, sometimes more than that, and uh, they used uh, considerably less, less fuel. And uh, in those days, the diesel fuel was actually cheaper than gas. Now that's reversed. But uh, gas tractors uh, in the, about 1973 were really getting quite rare, I think, because of the oil embargo. And uh, by about 75, I don't think any of the major manufacturers were making any uh, larger tractors in the gas version. Well, it's pretty powerful. It, it's a uh, factory rating is 79.7 horsepower. And uh, in 1971, that was, uh, there were of course a lot of farmers using much larger tractors than that, but for moderate sized farmers, uh, it would have been a very useful tractor. Uh, probably handle a four bottom plow in just about all conditions pretty nicely. It will go, uh, approximately 20 miles an hour, maybe slightly more on the road. Uh, so it buzzes right down the road and uh, it has a wide, it has 16 speeds forward like most of the other IH tractors uh, that size and larger. The 766 has the same shift pattern as uh, all the other IH tractors of that vintage uh, and uh, it's very, it drives very nicely, it has wonderful power steering and uh, it uh, shifts well. It really, uh, the hoods are the, uh, I believe, are the same hoods on the larger IH tractors. It's, some people would say it's a big house with nobody home because the 150, 60 horsepower tractors had the same size uh, hood on them. You can tell by all the red in his collection that Don is an international fan and his love of these machines is something that started at an early age. I prefer international. I, uh, I always have. We grew. I grew up on both John Deere and International. We had some of both, but uh, 
And I still have one John Deere tractor, but I've always liked the IH tractors, and I suppose I always will. I always uh, thought that the Internationals had a great engine. I thought they uh, had a lot of power and were snappy. Now it doesn't amount to much compared to the modern equipment, of course, but uh, at an impressionable age, which I was then, it, it was uh, really something, because I've always liked tractors. I was always, always uh, enjoyed the tractors. The 766 is just one of many classics Don has collected throughout the years. A handful of them were used on the farm or owned by family members. I am fortunate that I, I have three of the Lee family tractors and uh, I have two of my dad's tractors. Uh, uh, one that he bought new and one that he bought uh, when it was about 11 years old, I guess. When I use those uh, tractors, I, I always remember those people, you know. It crosses my mind that, gee, this was uh, Don's tractor or whoever it may be. I feel blessed to have been raised in a good family and, and, I, and I have a lot of uh, wonderful extended family members, so I'm pleased that I have some of those tractors.